Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how I built this beautiful multi-functioning kitchen cart from IKEA Kallax Cubicles. It turned out just beautiful and it's got tons of storage. Really a great way to create an extra storage space for small kitchens. Let's go build this. Stay tuned. I picked up a 4 cubicle Kallax unit from IKEA and put it together. I'm sure most of you are familiar with these shelves, they are almost everywhere. It cost me $36. Here are the wheels I'm going to attach to the bottom of the unit. They are from Amazon and dozen of them were about $12. So I'm going to attach these to the bottom but uh, if you know about Kallax you know that they are hollow inside so I'm hoping to find wood in this corner. So we'll see. This corner feels solid, so there's wood here. Let's try this one. Nope, this is hollow. Let's hope there's wood here. Or particle board, to be exact. Yep. There is something solid here, that's a good news. And the fourth one, again it's hollow. Since I have only two screws going into the wood, I'm going to use a very strong glue. This is Gorilla Glue Original. I was gonna use this in any case, but now I really need it only with two screws going into the wood. But I'm definitely gonna be gentle to this cord when I'm moving this around. I decided to add one more wheel in the middle since there is a particle board right under so I can have at least two more screws going into something solid. All the wheels are installed. Now I'm going to send the butcher block countertop. I got it from Home Depot. It was 24 by 60 and I got it cut to 20 by 40 at my local lumber yard. I'm only sending where I have the cuts. I laid the countertop on the floor. I found that easier since I'm doing this alone. I'm gonna mark where it sits on the base so I can put my glue before I screw them down to each other. I'm applying Gorilla Glue first and then I'm gonna be applying some water since Gorilla Glue is activated with water. This butcher block was $109 at Home Depot. I thought that was reasonable. By the way, please don't forget to hit the like button for me, that helps my channel a lot. I appreciate all the support. Now I'm going to screw the shelves to the butcher block with these wood screws. They are 2.5 inches long. First I'm going to have to drill the holes with the right size of the drill bit. After drilling, I put my screw down, but I ran into a problem, it didn't go through, I guess I didn't drill it long enough, so I came back with my impact driver. These guys are amazing, they're so strong, so it's good for tough job. As you see, it just went through. So this is my impact driver, and this is my drill. Mostly I use my drill, but every once in a while, like today, I use my impact driver. Now I got four screws in, also glued the whole thing, so I should be in good shape. Now it's time to work on the shelves and the spice rack. I'm cutting a couple of shelves and I'm going to use the rest of it for as a backing to my spice rack. I found this wood in the garage, so I didn't pay anything. I'm going to sand the edges. This is not a plywood, it's a nice wood, so I was lucky to find this in the garage. I've got so much stuff in there, sometimes they come handy. I used regular wood glue for the shelves, I glued them together, I clamped them and put some nails with my nail gun. So I'm going to now stain them with vodka danish oil. It's in dark walnut shade. I know these shelves are too basic, but I'm not a carpenter, so don't judge me for my skills. Now the butcher block. This is not a food safe oil, but there are food safe ones. Use that if you are planning to cut on this. I'm not going to cut directly on this, I will use a cutting board. I just want to keep the surface nice and scratchless. Now it's time to create the spice rag. I'm going to hang this backing board with glue and bolts to the side of the Kallax. 
and then I'll hang these shelves they are just hanged from a screw no need to glue or nail them and again they are from Ikea they were five dollars each as always pre-drilling before screwing the screw in so we don't split the wood it was a little bit too close to the edge I was worried but it was fine there was no splitting of the wood First I'm going to install the top shelf and then measure the spacing for the other shelves. You can just adjust the heights depending on your needs. That's the beauty of DIYing and customizing. I also have this piece of wood, I cut it out for the bottom for small things. And there it is the rack is ready again the same process gorilla glue first clamping it next but this time I'm going to use bolts and nuts instead of screws because in the middle of Kallax there's no wood it's totally empty that's why I need bolts I drilled the hole all the way and used two and a half inches long number 10 bolts and nuts and washers so I'm gonna have all the materials in the description below for you let me lift it up carefully it became heavy now and I wanna be gentle on the wheels wheels are fine now here it is looking good it's time to install the shelves then it will be almost done i made this shelf specifically to hold my uh, plastic containers i have so many of them i think like a dozen of them and they just take up so much space in the kitchen i thought this would be a great place to store them They'll be hanged just like the spice rack with nuts and bolts. In case your eyes are very sharp and notice nothing is leveled here, as such, that's because I'm in my sunroom where it used to be a porch, so the floor is sloping, that's why. Otherwise, the cart is perfectly leveled. One shelf can take up to four containers, so that's pretty good. Installation is done. I'm so excited about this card. I just want to add a couple of useful accessories like this magnet for knives. This will come very handy, but that's not a good idea for people with little kids. That would be a very dangerous thing to have it around. I have also this little bar for hanging things. I found it in the garage, of course. And then I went ahead and got some hooks for it from a hardware store like this. You can add just anything you like or anything you need. Sky is the limit. I'm gonna add these hooks from IKEA to hang my utensils and also this crate again from IKEA. I'm all about IKEA today. I think they should pay me for this. Put my knives let's see it in the kitchen it fits right under the countertop which i meant it to be so there's no gap in between i put some stuff in but i didn't want to clutter it for the video purposes i should stay in the crate as well it will look better this project turned out very successful you can use this as an island if you like you can make the uh, overhangs wider and put stools to sit around that's possible I'm very happy with the result I love my new card and total cost to me was $172 thank you for visiting my channel and I will see you in the next video bye